Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking the 2012 Opel Astra GTC SRI on a test drive. And today's review is taking place at Heron Auto Opel in Kia, situated in Donegal Town, County Donegal. For all contact information regarding the dealership, please see the description box below. Hi everyone. So we're going to get started on the test drive of the 2012 Opel Astra GTC SRI. This particular one only has 57,763 kilometers on the clock so far. This car, of course, does come with the electronic parking brake as standard. is the styling of this car is really very good. Obviously it's based off a of five-door Astra, but like the 2011 Kia Pro C they reviewed about a week ago, the styling is very different on the outside. For example, this car doesn't share any body panels at all with the five-door Astra. Um, but I really like the way it looks. It's got really cool looking sporty coupe styling to it. It has a nice aggressive from fascia with a very narrow chrome grille. It's a really cool looking car. And of course that theme of lovely design has been continued in here as well. Everything is nicely laid out and where you would expect it to be. So let's take a look around the interior. It's got good wide opening doors. Lovely leather padding and white stitching electric windows, as well as half leather sports bucket seats. The interior of this car is such a nice place to be, it's very well laid out as I was saying earlier. Nice center console, you got all your standard controls here for the radio, your traction control and your economy mode which as I was saying is the start stop system and the air conditioning as well as your plug-in down here for your USB and your auxiliary import and in the middle a 12 volt power outlet and this car does have a good array of storage areas you got a cup holder down here you got a little storage cubby there as well as in there and underneath the leather armrest a nice deep storage pocket and also has decent sized storage bins and a very good sized glove box as well And it's got a completely adjustable manual rake and reach steering rack. And also back here, as you can see, there's easily enough room for two people. Legroom is quite good. And despite the fact this car has a coupe type of roof line on it, headroom is quite good as well. Now, you could sit a person in the center seat, but if you do, as you can clearly see, there's not going to be any legroom worth talking about for them. So really, this here is just uh, laid out for two people in the back. There's a 12 volt power clip and a little ashtray as well. As well as a few storage cubbies down off to the side. And then we get to the boot. To open it on a GTC, you just push down on the bottom of the oval badge. Storage space in the back of this car is excellent. It has 130 litres of room in the boot. And although it's not as big as a five-door Astra, it's not too small either. You could go grocery shopping and fit just about anything you want in the back of this car. So it is spacious and practical, and it can be used on a day-to-day -day basis. This car features the same independent hyper-strut suspension up front that we find in the high-performance OPC Insignia, but in the following image, as you can see, at the rear, they stuck with the torsion beam suspension, but this one's actually fit with something called Watts linkage, which is meant to help improve the overall handling of the car. Now, I find this car very nice to drive in the back roads. The handling in it is excellent. There's a nice feedback from the electric power-assisted steering, and it goes in the corners very nicely as well. And the overall ride quality isn't too bad either. Obviously this car is going to be more comfortable than the previous GTC Astra. But this torsion beam suspension isn't too bad. It's more comfortable than I was expecting. And it's quite a nice car to drive overall. So we're out in the bypass there. We're going to open up the GTC. The acceleration from this car is fantastic. Really, really nice to drive. So there's, there's a lot of pulling power. The turbo in this car kicks in around 2000 RPM. 
the engine itself is a 1.7 liter turbo diesel and it produces about 108 brake horsepower with a top speed of 130 miles per hour and will claim this car is good for about 55 miles to the gallon. Now of course there are a variety of other engines available but I'll list them in the description box below. But right now a few things I want to go over about the GTC. First off we'll start with the interior quality. This is a lovely place to be. So it is. I love the steering wheel. It's a nice thick sporty head wrap. It's perforated on the left and right sides. We've got cruise control off to the left as well as the general radio controls off to the right. And this car comes with a nice array of features on the standard. This being the SRI that is. It comes with an all the interior mirror, automatic rain sensor, windshield wipers and automatic lights. And it's also got air conditioning and it's got iPod connectivity and it's just such a lovely place to be. It's spacious in here, it feels big and roomy. It doesn't feel like a cramped car at all. So I'm just out now on another set of back roads and once again I confirm the ride quality in this car is very very good. They have this car set up perfectly so they do. Obviously it would be better if Opel would introduce the multi-link rear suspension to their Delta platform but as it is this car does not have it. It is a traditional torsion beam. Um, but obviously you know the ride quality isn't too harsh. I mean, they drive the previous GTC about two weeks ago and I said it wasn't terrible but it wasn't as good as a Ford Focus and I stand by that even with this current generation of the Astra. Um, other things I do like about this car though are the gear changes. They're excellent so they are the post gear ratios, very smooth shifting and the handling in this car is excellent as well. Very nice feedback. And there's the paddler. So as it is, I'm actually on my way back to the dealership and I can sum up the um, current generation of the Ashley GTC quite easily. It's good looking, it's sporting, good array of engines, a lot of trim levels to choose from. This particular one, as I said, is the SRI. Uh, you can also have this car with a bi-turbo diesel engine and that alone comes with its own special design body kit. And I have seen it and it looks brilliant, so it does. And then there's the high performance OPC Astra, which is based entirely off the GTC. But really, overall, I love this car. It's lovely inside, it's quiet, it's economical. The road tax in this particular one is only 200 quid, so it's quite cheap. Now, of course, the uh, turbocharged petrol engines are cheaper than diesels, but these ones will return a better fuel economy. So, that's pretty much all I have to say about the current generation of the GTC. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I really enjoyed driving this car. I'm going to have a bunch more uh, test drives to come. And I do hope to be driving the new generation of the Kia Seed and the Pro Seed very soon. And I will be able to compare the Pro Seed with the GTC. And we'll see exactly which car is best. But for now, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Plenty more videos to come.